Hey, and welcome back. Well, I just got back from the gym and took a shower and decided to film an update video on the sugar and caffeine before I did break. Rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. That's why I'm putting on lotion. Yeah, I could have put the lotion on first and then hit record, but... What the fucking lotion in the basket? Okay, so I got rid of the lotion. Stop judging me now. So I told myself that I was gonna be really strict and giving up sugar and caffeine. You know, and I was gonna start for 30 days, really strict, not gonna have a bit of it. Well, I, I cheated. I mean, it was just the one time with sugar, but it happened. I love sugar. Now, I've told you this before. I am really big into all things sweet, but one of my favorite things is Cinnabon. I mean, it's just a big hot cinnamon roll with lots of icing, and they do a thing called the pecan bomb. Pecan, pecan, however you want to say it, and it's pecans and caramel sauce and more frosting. I mean, it's delicious. And the only place near me that serves it is the mall. Now, when COVID hit last year, they closed the mall down in March. I haven't been to the mall at all since they've reopened. Well, until last week. I'm the kind of person that when I go to the mall, I don't window shop. I pretty much know exactly what I want and I'm in and out five to 10 minutes at most. Now the store I needed to go to is a couple of doors past the Cinnabon. So I have to pass the Cinnabon to go to the store I wanna to go to. Now I could park on the far side of the mall and take the long way through and not pass the Cinnabon, but that would take too much time and I'm lazy. So I park on the short side, I go past Cinnabon, I pass it one time. I'm not gonna get the Cinnabon on the way in because then you're walking around the mall with a Cinnabon in your hand. So I go in, pass Cinnabon, go to the store. I get what I want from the store, I leave. On the way out, I, you know, I'm tempted, but I keep going. But I get to my car and I realize, crap, I need to do something else in the mall. I need to go to this other store to see if something was there. So I go back in the mall and again, I pass Cinnabon. I don't get anything this time. So that's three times I've passed Cinnabon without getting something. I am three and zero right now. If this was soccer or a hockey, that is a big lead. Basketball, that's just one basket. I'm not gonna worry about it. So I go to the store, I get what I want. I'm heading back out. Okay, this time I passed Cinnabon and I didn't make it by. So I cheated, yes. But, I mean, I got no excuse, I, I did. But when you cheat, you know, when you fall down, you pick yourself back up and you keep going. So I wasn't as strict as I wanted to on that, but we'll make it up later. Now with caffeine, that one was a bit harder than I thought it was gonna be. Cause like I said, I don't drink coffee at all on the weekends. So I didn't think I was gonna have an issue not drinking coffee at work. I didn't cheat, I was good, but I'm at work and I'm with my friends, they go to the break room, they get coffee, and I honestly didn't think I was gonna miss anything about coffee, but oh, it smells so good. I mean, they're making their coffee, drinking it, I'm just sitting there in the corner going, <sighs> didn't drink coffee. And again, the caffeine part was because I don't wanna drink unsweet coffee or unsweet tea. I mean, caffeine itself is not that bad for you. I'm just trying to stay away from sugar. Now there are other things they say you can eat in the morning to kind of take the place of coffee. They say that, you know, an apple or some grapes will wake you up just as much as a cup of coffee. But I'm kind of staying away from those because that's a lot of natural sugar. And I'm trying to stay from, away from all kinds of sugar. I mean, there's sugar in everything. Vegetables have sugar, meat has sugar, but it's, you know, very small amounts. But fruit has a ton of sugar in it. Now, once I'm done with my initial 30 days, you know, I'll go back to eating fruit and just stay away from added sugar. Well, try to. So I'm at the gym and I'm doing the Dwayne Johnson Hercules workout. And I am sore. I didn't think I was gonna get that sore. But I knew there's gonna be some soreness because when you don't do much and then all of a sudden you start doing a lot, your body's not used to it. So you're gonna start feeling something. So one thing about fitness plans is that what works for you might not work for me. I mean, I may have some success doing your workout plan because if you're active doing anything, you know, whether it's hiking, lifting weights, you're gonna see some type of health benefit. So I can keep doing this plan and I will see some results, but it won't be as fast as I want. Now, even though I'm in this for the long term, I'm the kind of person that if I jog two miles on a treadmill, I wanna see some weight loss on the scale. You know, if I finish my set, of the bench press, you know, I want to get up, look in the mirror, and I want to see, I want to see some more definition here. I know that's not how it works, but you can't stop your mind from thinking how your mind wants to think. So I actually have a friend who is a physical trainer, and they are now going to school to be a nutritionist. So using the friends and family discount, 
also known as free. They created a workout plan for me and a meal plan. Now they didn't tell me like what exactly to eat, but they broke it down to the macro, saying you need this much fat, this many calories, this much carbohydrates, this much protein. Now that's good and all, but I hate having to sit and weigh and measure my food before I eat it. Well, you can just meal prep. Okay, so I cook all my food on Sunday and I box it up to eat during the week. That just means I'm having leftovers all week long. I don't like to eat it a leftover when it just happens let alone planned leftovers. So what I like to do is, is go by the serving size that's based on your hand, where a serving of protein can be the size of your palm, a serving of vegetables should be the size of your fist, a serving of carbs should fit in your cupped hand, and a serving of fats should be the size of one thumb. Now, I understand that's not what he was wanting me to do. While I'm doing the new exercise plan, if I hit a plateau really quick, then I'll realize that it's because of the diet. And so then I will break down by a food scale and I will do the things that he's wanting me to do. So when all this started, uh, beginning of the year, I my weight had peaked at about 255 and got on the scale before I came down here and my weight is around 245, which was expected. Because again, if you don't do a whole lot and then all of a sudden you start doing a lot of things, you make changes to your body, your body's gonna react quickly to it. So if I'm eating sugar and drinking caffeine every day, then all of a sudden I stop, then my body's gonna have a reaction to it. And plus, I upped my exercise. I mean, I was going to the gym anyway, but now I was going to the gym, lifting heavier weights, you know, doing more, and my body responded. So while those benefits were expected, I wanna take that momentum and I wanna build on it. So hopefully with this new plan and portion control, I will be able to see more gains coming up in the near future. I want this to be long-term. I want this to become a lifestyle change. I'm not looking to do this for a couple of months and then go back to how the way everything was because then any benefits that I've gained, I'll lose. Any weight that I've lost, I'll gain it right back. My body hates it when I try to diet. If I'm thinking about a diet, I can go drink a cup of water and somehow gain five pounds. It's very frustrating, especially when you realize how dieting works. So the way it was explained to me, when you lose fat, the fat is sucked out of the fat cell. So then you have an empty cell and then you have water replace the fat in that cell. Now water weighs more than fat, so technically you can actually gain a little bit of weight until those fat cells shrink and disappear. Fat loss is not instantaneous, it's a process. And I know that that's why a lot of people get frustrated. You want things to happen quickly. They say you should only lose about two pounds a week. They say that's healthy. So if you can only lose eight pounds a month safely, and you wanna lose 50 pounds like I do, then you're looking at over six months to lose that weight. And that's fine, that's a good time frame. But in my mind, it's still wired to where I've worked out hard for three weeks, I should have lost 50 pounds by now. But I also know that if I do that, it's unhealthy and I can hurt myself. You know, I'm not doing any crash diets. I'm not taking any weird appetite suppressants or anything. You know, I'm just cutting back on my calories and taking the sugar out of my diet. That was pretty much the extra calories that I need to get rid of. I'm seeing results, I'm pleased with the results, and I'm ready to see more. And the way last year ended and this year is starting, I need something to be excited about. Well, I guess that's about all I got for you today. I do want to ask that if you're not already subscribed to this channel, to please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and please ring that bell for notifications so YouTube will let you know when I have uploaded new content. So, do you have any weight loss goals or even weight gain goals? I know for some people they want to gain weight and it's hard for them to put weight on. So if you have any weight related goals, you know, go ahead and drop those in the comment and we'll talk about it. So please just like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day and we'll see you again next time. All right, bye for now.